Today I'm designing elf clothing for my dolls. I drew this picture of an elf modeling the LOL surprise dolls that I want to repaint. I want to get a more fleshed out design of their outfits. I didn't really know what kind of model I should make to draw the clothes on, and so I ended up drawing a body, but I didn't really like it for drawing clothes on. So I decided to try again, and I didn't really like how that was turning out either. So I started again, and this time I just drew the clothes. Instead of trying to see what the shape of the body would be, I drew the clothes in the shape of the body, if that makes sense. And so for her outfit, it's kind of like an apron, but the reference I had was more of a dress. So it ends up looking like a dress, but I feel like it could be an apron, just like a very cinched one. So I haven't figured out whether I want it to be an apron or a dress yet. If it's a dress, then I just, then I will just have stockings underneath, which I kind of show later when I get to the coloring. For the apron, I want a large chest pocket that she would put her stuff in if she was working in Santa's workshop. And I contemplated if she should have a work belt, but I like the idea that she would just put it in her pockets on the side of her apron instead. Then I started moving on to drawing the undershirt because I want her to have a long sleeve shirt on underneath her dress slash apron. I'm sorry for how much my head is in this video. I thought the camera was set up better, but it actually wasn't, so I apologize for that. I'm definitely going to work on making that better for the next art video that I make. Now, I started drawing the second outfit, and I was struggling with drawing the top of her because I realized that the neck was just really small, and it was still small even when I fixed it, but it was slightly better. This one is definitely a dress, and it has a little belt in the middle. I really like this dress because when I drew it the first time, the bottom was very flowy and it just looks super cute like that. This dress has short sleeves instead of long ones, and it has sort of a puff shoulder. I'm not sure if I want to keep the puff shoulder design, but I liked it when I drew it the first time, so I wanted to draw it again just to represent the first drawing. It also has a collar and it has buttons down the middle. The first drawing I had, I made, I put way too many buttons on there, so this time when I drew it, I put only three buttons. I drew the undergarments for the second outfit, but my head was covering most of it, so this is the final result. Next, I wanted to redraw the pants, because I didn't really like how the first pants had come out. I drew underwear to give myself a guide as to where the hips are, and then I didn't like how high the crotch was, so I moved it down as I was drawing the pants, and I also wanted it to be more high-waisted.
then I decided I wanted to get a color, stu a color study and so I scanned the sketches and printed out um, these two versions to color. It wasn't the best for coloring on because it was on computer paper and so it was just bleeding and it wasn't blending well but it helped me get a sense of what kind of colors I want to go with. I think I only have two green Copic markers and so I wanted to see which one I liked better um, to be the Christmas green. And I liked both of them but I decided to start with the lighter one. Eventually I went over the lighter one with the darker one and I kind of like how that looks. Then I decided to test out the reds, and I have two reds as well. I felt like the first red that I put down was slightly more orange, but I'm not sure because they look really similar on camera. I had a second copy printed out so that I could do multiple different designs if I didn't like the first one that I did. And so I did the stockings in a peppermint candy cane design. Then I moved on to the second dress, coloring it in green and red as well. Um, I colored the undergarments in the same peppermint candy cane aesthetic. On the page that I colored the most, I decided to do the undergarments in a green and white candy cane design instead, just so that I could compare them and see which goes with the outfit better. Then I got a black Tombow marker and I colored in the belt and used the yellow Copic to color the buckle, gold. So this is the finished product of me designing these elf clothes. I'm going to have a better mock-up in the video where I actually make the clothes and repaint the dolls. This is where I'm ending the video though, so let me know if you have any suggestions. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. See ya!